What's up you guys this is your boy Delph and welcome back to another video so today we are going to be ranting on Star Ocean the Divine Force now you guys know I keep it 100% honest with y'all man I get irritated when people say oh is this guy satire oh is he for real oh is he trolling oh this has to be sarcasm because the reason that irritates me, the mentality of the gaming community is just out of control, bro. Why every time someone disagrees with you on a video game, they have to be trolling. They have to be satire. And I always say on this channel, I can't believe that I'm about to say this. I have lost all faith in humanity because I can't believe I'm about to say this. I always say on this channel, why do you get so mad because this person is shitting on a game you like. Why do you get so mad because this person doesn't like the same game you like? I can't believe that I have to say the alternate version of that. Why do you get so mad because this person likes a game you don't like? Oh my gosh. Imagine hating a game so much that if anybody else in the world loves it, you gotta go crazy. You gotta make that person feel bad. You gotta go off on that nigga. If you're the type of person that does this, please choke on the biggest dick you can find, bruh. Imagine getting so mad because this random person doesn't like the same game you like to the point you wanna go off on him, you wanna start beef with him, you wanna start drama with him. Now I gotta tell motherfuckers, imagine getting so upset because he likes a game you don't like. Oh my gosh, with that little tangent out the way, bro, social media links are in the description. Please go sub to the anime channel because I got a lot of creative ideas that I want to do for my anime channel, bro. Um, and yeah, man, stay tuned to the channel, bro. Go follow your boy on Twitch. I might be streaming God of War on Twitch or I might be doing it on YouTube, but please go follow me on Twitch, um, my Instagram and stuff like that. But Star Ocean, the Divine Force, bro. Uh, there's no point in saying this because niggas just take it and throw it out the window. This review is subjective. It is. Um, I just want to say why well, I'm not feeling Star Ocean, the Divine Force. Now, this game is not horrible and it's not terrible. But I'm just not feeling this game. I'm just not feeling it, bro. So I'm just about to make this review and tell you guys why I'm not feeling Star Ocean The Divine Force. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video, man, because I really love my reviews and I stick by everything I say in every single one of my reviews, bro. That's why I love defending myself in my comment section and shit like that. But this review is subjective. I'm telling you guys why I don't like Star Ocean The Divine Force. Now I know this is a little crazy, man, because... I wasn't really hyped for this game. I was more anticipated and I was more of, oh, I can't wait to check it out. But I wasn't as hyped for it as I was with Bayonetta 3 and WW2K22 and stuff like that. I like I was looking forward to this game the same way I'm looking forward to um, God of War Ragnarok. You feel me? It's just a game that I'm waiting to play. It's nothing I'm really hyped for. Bayonetta 3, I was hyped for that shit. I was hyped for that game. To the point I was sitting in front of my Switch 20 minutes before the game came out. And, you know, I was double tapping my Switch buttons. <laughs> but that game was not a disappointment. Shout out to Bayonetta 3. But I'm just not feeling this game, bro. I Now, we usually start with graphics. But the graphics, they're gorgeous in certain areas. When you look at the places that you go and the locations that you discover... The place looks beautiful overall, all right? The map looks gorgeous overall. But the character designs, I gotta be honest with y'all, bruh. The character designs makes me sick to my stomach. It does. 
It truly does, bro. I'ma um, say this in gameplay, but I'ma also put it in graphics because not only we're fighting the same monsters over and over and over, but I hate the way they look. The characters, the enemies, they look so low quality and so low budget that I can't take it serious. The character designs makes me hurt to my stomach, bro along with the enemy designs to add on top of that. I'm kind of scratching my head with the graphics because the graphics, overall, they look gorgeous. Like when you go to the locations and outside and stuff like that, but the designs of like the villages and the characters, in my opinion, they just make me want to hurl, bro. Now here's the thing, right? So I made a video, I don't know if you guys saw it, I know a lot of people saw it, but I made a video praising the demo, and everything I praised the demo for, here's the problem with that, bro. I praised the demo for having an AP system. At first, I thought the AP system would be a good idea because I saw it as um, uh, Tilly Riser 2 Xenoblade Chronicles type of combat. Uh, let me explain more on that, right? In Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 has that auto combat and I told myself, oh look at it as a turn base, you feel me, look at it as a turn base, but what Xenoblade Chronicles does so perfect that Star Ocean gives me a headache over is the combat pacing, alright? See, my problem with Star Ocean is the combat is too fast paced to have a combat system like that, you feel me? I'm trying to combo, I'm trying to slash and stuff like that. But, oh, I'm out of AP, oh, you're out of AP, oh, you're out of AP. When I play uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, I can look at it as a turn base because it feels like that's what the game was almost designed to be. That's the way I look at it. Like I said in my Xenoblade Chronicles 3 review, that's the way I see it. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, to me, is more of a turn base while I'm just roaming around, auto-hitting, roaming around, auto-hitting, and I can hit my combat art. All right, and when I want to go my Ouroboros stage, I can. And to me, like, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 has that more of a slower combat pace. It has that slower combat pace to it, to where, uh, you know, it's, it feels like more of a turn base. Uh, you're just roaming around, roaming around. It's your turn to do a combat art. You do it. Same thing with the enemy. But when you bring that to Star Ocean, to me, the combat is just so fast to where it doesn't work because when i go into xenoblade chronicles 3 i look at it as a turn base but in star ocean i can't really look at that as a turn base because when you start an encounter boom it, it goes it, it like it's too fast paced right this is my problem with the main combat of star ocean the divine force the combat is too fast to have an AP system like that. Like I'm into the combat. You don't know how disappointed I get because I'm into the combat. I'm trying to combo up, but there's an AP system. And to be honest, whoever developed this game, that is really stupid on their part. Why would you make a JRPG with hack and slash type mechanics, but have an AP system? Why would you do that? All right, bro, I wanted to add this before I forget, but like I said earlier, one of the main problems I have with this game is that the combat is too fast paced for the battle system that it has. And one of the main problems with that is that you'll get into a random encounter with some enemies and the combat is too fast paced for the battle system that this game has. Like I said earlier, you'll get into an encounter with a random enemy and every time I'll get so into the combat because the combat is supposed to be fast paced but it's not because it got so much bullshit like the ap the va and it gets to a point where the game keeps saying that i'm escaping but i'm not like it's so fucking annoying the game keeps saying that i'm escaping but i'm just fighting like i'm hitting combos or i'm trying to i'm trying to hit combos i'm trying to enjoy this fast paced game but oh i escaped why because you know the combat doesn't work for this battle system it doesn't and it's so annoying i'm comboing i'm trying to have a good time i escaped the battle like come on bro see i used to praise this game because 
I saw the combat as a mix of two of my favorite JRPGs of all time, Artillery Rise 2 and Xenoblade Chronicles 3, like I explained in my demo review. But then I realized that only works in those two specific games. Because the reason it works is because Artillery Rise 2 and Xenoblade Chronicles are more slower paced. They're more slower paced. But when you hop on Star Ocean, it's just all fast and speeding and shit like that. And you can't add an AP system to that. Now another thing, the VA system. In my demo review, I said it was dope and it added more depth to the combat, but it gets old very, very, very fast. I truly, truly don't like that. I truly, truly hate that. So yes, I give gameplay a zero out of 10 because it's really disappointing going to this game. Like the game is so fast paced, I be going into it with, you know, the mindset of a hack and slash beat em up type game, but you add this hack and slash feel, this fast paced gameplay, and you're giving me all these enemies and my AP system, like, oh, you out of AP. Oh, you giving me a thousand enemies in one area, which is another thing I'm gonna get into. You giving me a thousand enemies in one area, oh, out of AP. Oh, I'm comboing them, I'm fucking them up. Up oh, out of AP, you out of VA, you out of AP, you out of VA. Like, it's so annoying, bro, and I really can't respect the game for that. Another thing I truly hate, the constant running to every destination, running and running and running to every destination. Now, in Xenoblade Chronicles 3, you had to like run to get to your destination, but in Xenoblade Chronicles 3, at least they threw some things in there. At least they threw some things in there to make it fresh. Um, on top of that, I loved, all right, I loved the maps and the level designs in Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Loved them to death. But in Star Ocean, yes, they were gorgeous, but they were also repetitive. I felt like I kept seeing the same map every time. But they were unique in Xenoblade Chronicles 3. In my opinion, keep in mind, it's subjective. On top of that, bro, I felt like Xenoblade Chronicles 3 made you, like, run to your destination, but they threw some things in there during your travel to make it more interesting. You feel me? Uh, plus, on top of that, Getting into encounters, which is another thing I'm about to get into, getting into encounters made me want to travel and uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 made me want to get into encounters because I enjoyed the combat. When in uh, Star Ocean, I don't. And I explained that earlier, so I won't go into detail. But yes, they added, you know, zip lining, they added climbing, and I enjoyed the level designs in Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So I wanted to get into encounters in Xenoblade Chronicles 3. When the Star Ocean, I'm just running, VA, running, VA. And I didn't want to get into encounters because like I explained earlier, I hated the combat. I truly, truly hated it. Now, this is where the game truly started to piss me off. Space it out better, man. Space it out better. Same thing with Soul Hackers 2, but not as bad. Soul Hackers 2 had this problem where they would pop up enemies in your face every two goddamn steps, and it was so goddamn annoying, and other shit on top of that, all right? There's a lot of reasons why he Soul Hackers 2. My review is on my channel. Go to the search bar, type my name is Del Soul Hackers 2, it'll pop up. You feel me? I'm not gonna link it because this video has nothing to do with Soul Hackers. Same thing I hated about Soul Hackers 2, bruh. They brought it in Star Ocean. Alright, shout out to Death for Request 2, shout out to Atelier Riser 2, Fairy Tale in my opinion. See, JRPGs that space it out, man, that space it out better. Star Ocean the Divine Force, now keep in mind, in my opinion, it's not as bad as Soul Hackers 2, but it's still bad. I wish JRPGs would space it out better. I shouldn't be getting into an encounter every two steps. Hell, even Pokemon Legends Arceus did it better than this. Space it out better, because I hate when I play JRPGs and I'm getting into an encounter every two steps. That makes the game annoying. Death from Request 2 was smart, alright? It would happen like two, if not three times a map. You feel me? Three times a map. Until you rise to two, you will only see it like four times a map. But this game, encounter. Enemy defeated. Run a little bit. Encounter. Enemy defeated. Run a little bit. Encounter. Enemy defeated. Run a little bit. Like, it's so annoying. Not as bad as Soul Hackers, but it's so annoying. And I truly hate that. Now, I meant to add this with the combat, but I forgot. So I'm going to add it now. 
this is really annoying there were times in the game where i would get into encounters with these enemies that were so close to the edge they were so close to the edge of this map and that's another thing bro whoever developed this game they're so bad at placing enemies and once again like i said they needed to be spaced out better but whatever these enemies were so goddamn irritating because they were placed on the edge. Now keep in mind, this was early in the game. So I was trying to fight every enemy I came into an encounter with because I'm trying my best to get skill points and stuff like that and level up. I used to until I stopped enjoying the game. So I tried to get skill points and stuff like that. So I tried to get into every encounter I could with these enemies and there were these certain enemies and a lot more this was just the beginning of it they were on the edge of this map and i tried to fight these enemies but they were on the edge and i would try to fight them but i would fall off the edge respawn try to fight them fall off the edge respawn try to fight them fall off the edge respawn it was so annoying and i truly hated it I hate how your character does this falling animation real slow when the enemy hits you with a heavy attack. Any heavy attack, any power attack, your character does this slow animation where they fall backwards. And it's so annoying. So goddamn annoying. Like, every time I get hit, I'm just, oh, I'm just falling back and I can't do anything about it. I gotta wait for my character to finish this falling animation so I can, you know, play again fuck it bro and i hate the story i truly hate the story man it's so boring um and i hate the missions uh so far i do hate the missions like it was one mission where they made me go check the roof of houses once again tedious ass shit i just i'm just not feeling this game y'all i'm not feeling this game but i give star ocean the divine force a one out of ten bro a one out of ten i hope you guys enjoyed the review it's your boy Delph. i'm out